Maybe it's you. Maybe not. Uh, but to answer some questions, Chris Graham. Uh, there's a big difference between necromancy and raising somebody from the dead. Um, let me like, clarify a little bit better. There's raising the dead, and then there's bringing the dead back to life. Those are two very different abilities. Oh, is, you know the language. I don't have to cushion it for you. But raising the dead, it's almost like what a zombie virus does to a human body. They have a type of magic that reanimates the same thing. So they're not actually back to life. They don't eat. They waste away just like a zombie would. Um, and I've, I don't know. I'm not going to get into the deeper stuff. But uh, raising the dead back to life, putting a soul back into a human body, that's upper, 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 upper level stuff. So, And even if it was manageable, you'd probably get into a shit ton of trouble for it. Wow. What do they keep happening? I'm getting these, like, little ball lightnings of static. And then as soon as I get hit, I look up, and it's this massive cloud of leaves blowing right above my head. I just caught that in another video a few seconds ago. Uh, I was sometimes questioning whether other psychics had a easier time trying to be psychic when it came to looking or studying at me. Because I mean, if they're psychic and they can sometimes pick out thoughts from mind, uh, how much easier should it be if they've got magical brain waves leaking out of their head all day, every day? So that's something I've thought about. But weird stuff tired of cutting around like this. All these people that are looking for me have to break into diary mode. God damn it, there's one right there. I'm trying to put away, trying to put away. Stop. He's trying to hide. Fuck you, guy. Dude on a bike way over there in all black in a backpack. They'll come out here and stand around on corners looking pitiful, pretending they're me, and then when I step into the parking lot, they just dive into the bushes and ride away. And it's those assholes that I guess are getting slapped around by other swine pretending to be me. And girls like Natalie Portman went with it, lying about it, knowing full well. I just explained that in another video. Yeah, I got a question for you, I guess. It's just your own thoughts. Or maybe you want to put a little work into it. What do you think the difference between practical magic, real, old-school magic, and a metaphysical spiritual miracle? I've got a lot of stuff on my mind, man, because I had to do a study back in... a while back. The difference between paranoia and premonition, which is not an easy thing to do. And then you had Spidey Sense to the mix, and it's much worse. I'm wondering if you saw that Eric Voss video or something. I did not mean to, but I gave him a demonstration, like, a scary one. I went and looked at it, and I'm like, God damn, this is creepy. I shouldn't have done that. Right. Jesus, no. Tell me. There's like four times as many homeless people out here as there was four or five days ago. Ah, good dog. Apparently, I'm afraid of dogs. Fuck, that happened. Good. Um, let's see. I did have some fun stuff I was going to shoot on camera for you and send your way. Whatever. You get today figured out, and then... Let's see what's what. Here's where, uh, January 4th, 2022, 4.30, I think. 4.37, excuse me. I'm talking to somebody soon. 